Hi everyone and welcome to this video where we'll take a look at using Magnet Dump It for generating a full memory dump and then analysis in Axiom Cyber. My name is Chris Cohn and I'm a forensic consultant here at Magnet Forensics. With the release of Axiom Cyber 7.0, Magnet Forensics has now introduced support for Comey memory artifacts that you can leverage in the investigation of memory dumps generated from computers running more recent versions of the Windows operating system. First, you'll need to visit the Magnet Forensics free tools page to download Magnet Dump It for Windows. Available at magnetforensics.com forward slash free tools. Once you've made your way over to the free tools page, scroll down and you'll see two entries for Dump It. One is Magnet Dump It for Linux. For generating full memory crash dumps of systems running a Linux distribution. For this video, we'll use Magnet Dump It for Windows. This can be used for systems with both 32 and 64-bit CPU architectures, as well as ARM64 based. Selecting the link for Magnet Dump It for Windows will bring you to this page. After completing the form located at the bottom of the page, a zip archive download will begin. Once complete, you'll have the Comey Toolkit zip archive available. We can extract that here. The extracted zip archive consists of Magnet Dump It and associated utilities for the supported CPU architectures. The entire toolkit is relatively lightweight at just over four megabytes in size, lending itself to being transferred via network or on external media, such as a USB flash drive or external hard drive for crash dump memory generation and collection from Windows systems. For this example, we're going to open the X64 folder. The focus of this video will be using Magnet Dump It but you can see there are other utilities available which can be useful in various situations, including Hybrid Bin, which can be used to decompress the Windows HybridFile.sys and output the content to a bin file for further analysis. There is also a utility to convert a compressed magnet dump it capture to an uncompressed format for converting a raw memory dump to a Microsoft crash dump file and the other way around, converting a Microsoft crash dump to a raw memory dump. Combined, these utilities help to provide interoperability with your various Microsoft crash dumps and raw memory dumps for analysis in a variety of platforms. Well, I've currently got Magnet Dump It sitting in a folder on an external drive connected to my computer. Now we could launch the tool using a simple double click from File Explorer or from an administrator command prompt. I want to go ahead and do that so we can take a look at the different options that are available with Dump It from the command line. As you can see, options are available to specify the type of memory dump, as well as the name of the output file that will be created. There's also a quiet option to begin collection without further prompting, along with the various other options listed here. For this example, I'll go ahead and just run dump it with no other options, and we'll see the output shown on my screen. By default, if you specify no other options, the crash dump output will be stored in the same location that you're running dump it from, with a file name consisting of the computer name as well as the date and time in UTC from that local system. We then have to agree to continue with the acquisition. On systems with larger amounts of RAM, like this one with 64 gigabytes, users may be prompted for an option to enable compression of the generated crash dump file, which in turn will create a zdump file. For most subsequent analysis work, this zdump would then need to be converted to an uncompressed dump format so the time savings here may not be worthwhile. In this example, I'll continue without compression. During the creation of the Windows crash dump using Magnet Dump It, we can see some information about the system, including the Windows version that is installed, a machine ID, and kernel debug information, which may be useful for certain analysis. When the crash dump creation has completed, you'll see output on your screen, including a timestamp, duration, statistics on the created file size and memory composition, along with the SHA-256 hash of the generated dump file. At this point, I'll go ahead and launch Axiom Process so that we can look at the Comey artifacts available within Axiom Cyber. To begin, we'll create a new case, providing a case number, and adding the dump file as Windows computer evidence, just as we would with other memory capture. So we'll say load evidence, memory, load a memory dump file, and then navigate to the location on disk where that dump file was created. Selecting open, 
Examiners are then prompted with a decision regarding which memory plugins to utilize. So for this example, I generated a crash dump of a Windows 11 system running version 22H2, or Windows 11 build 22621. As you probably know, the volatility artifacts available within Axiom and Axiom Cyber are only good for Windows 10 versions up to build 19041. As we can see here, build 19041 corresponds to Windows 10 20 H1, which is slightly dated at this point. One of the benefits to using Comay memory artifacts is you're not required to select an operating system profile as you are with volatility. So for this example, I'll select Comay, and then the remaining options available to us under processing details regarding things like keyword searching and calculating hash values are the same as they would be with any other evidence item. I'll select Computer Artifacts and then choose Memory. From the Memory Artifacts details screen, we can see both Comay and Volatility Artifacts are available, providing flexibility for examiners. But note that you can only search with one set of these artifacts in any single processing pass. I'll go ahead and select the one optional artifact for MFT, go down to Analyze Evidence, and then begin processing the memory dump loaded as an evidence item in this case. Once beginning case processing, you will likely see behavior similar to what is shown on my screen. The amount of time seems to vary with the size of the dump file you've loaded for processing. At this point during case processing, the Comay artifacts are being populated in a number of JSON files. Once this completes, Axiom Process will then carve the memory dump for any other selected artifacts that you have chosen. Once case processing completes, the Comay memory artifacts are available for review within the Artifact Explorer of Axiom Examine, along with all of the other artifacts that may have been carved from the memory dump you selected as an evidence source based on the case processing settings you utilized. Stay tuned for upcoming content where we'll take a look at leveraging these memory artifacts in different types of investigations. I hope this information has been useful for you and that you'll give Magnet Dump it a try for generating memory dumps on Windows operating systems and Linux distributions that you encounter in your investigation. I also hope that you'll put the Comay memory artifacts to the test in your next memory analysis case. Thanks for watching.